What's up? Part two of Russell's Coyote Turbo Build, but real quick, I know y'all don't watch my videos to the end, so go grab a hat. Got some shirts, uh, keychains, a few other little small stuff. Taylor'sInsaneTurboSystems.com. Get you something, help a brother out. Also, check this unit out. Got the shop car in here. Let's see. 69 Camaro, rock and roll. Raise hell and praise Dale. Got the front cap off of it. When I just clean everything up, I got to change the blower motor and the heater core out. I cut basically every wire, firewall off, rewire the headlights and stuff, and uh, rerun the Holly system, new turbo kit and everything. So be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be super, super duper exciting for me because this thing is just thick that thing is just such a good looking car it's a 20 footer for sure but um i'm not afraid to do stuff like this so anyway back to it russell's car while we're here why we are here let's see where is it at collector collector going to the head flange What you saw on the time lapse was me stacking the primaries together. I've jumped way ahead and welded all the primaries out individually on the bench, stacked the primaries back into the car. And this piece was already made up off the hot side. And then what I do is I weld these two pipes together right there, and right there, and on the bottom, and on the other side. And that holds them together. Then I knock the collector back off. And I weld, finish welding around with the star. You can see, maybe, yeah, you can see the star is right there. And that seals all four pipes into one joint. Then weld this all the way around, it's sealed up. So this is done all the way up to here. What I'm about to do is weld these four primaries on while back purging and hook to this solid piece of aluminum where I back purge from and that header will be done and we'll stick it back on the car. pretty good got the gasket in it because it's going to be it for now it's going to be done I can put all the bolts in it and it looks pretty good got some clearance here got clearance on that bar clearance on the frame rail looks real sweet from the back that raw stainless is just beautiful so I got the steering shaft disabled or disconnected right now. I thought it was gonna come out this way, but unfortunately I had to remove the alternator to get it out. So which ain't no major deal. It's just the alternator bracket also holds up the turbo mount. So a little bit of work, but nothing too major. Turned out really solid. So I've got the passenger side header I had it stacked together, got all the primaries built, and we'll get them all welded out real quick, and then stack the header all back together for a final installation.
Got all the primaries welded out. So now, just kind of stack it back together. Get this one back tacked. And then I gotta tack these, put the collector on, tack it. And then once it's tacked, weld up the centers as much as I can. Knock the collector back off, weld my star in there. Put the collector back on, weld it around, and weld all these out. Got Russell's passenger side header built. Turned out pretty, pretty short and stubby. This needs to be welded to that. But I have so much, I'm so limited for room because this is gonna have to turn and go through the control arm. I'm gonna try to cut some of this off to make up for this. I really need a 90 out. But I, don't, I can't get the header with a 90 tacked on here and a v-band I can't get the header in and out of the car Because it's just so tight So I can get the header in and out just like this. So I'm gonna try to come up here cut some of this off because right now This is going inside here. So I'm gonna cut it up Maybe to right there and it'll sit on top of it and I'll just weld it It'll give me that much more clearance for this v-band and then the 90 will be that much farther away from the bottom control arm. I don't even know how long this video is going to be because I would work a bunch without filming, film a little bit, work a bunch without filming, film a little bit. So, Russell's car is done. Custom intercooler, custom coolant tank, custom catch can, uh, downpipes built, the oil drain lines built, catch can lines are built, the all the hot sides done, both headers, everything's done all the way. Mass airflow sensor flange, O2 bung. We even remounted his tire steering reservoir right there. Made a nice little bracket, got it bolted up, and it's all remounted, the bumper fits, everything like that. Looks good. We're just waiting on a couple more fittings. Um, we're gonna pull the old pressure sensor out which Russell may end up doing that himself. Pull it out, put a T in line, put the fitting back, or the pressure sensor, and run this down there to it to supply oil feed. Like I said, the drain line's done. He has to, he's gonna run, he's gotta run from this coolant line to a T to here and to here. He's gonna go get him an air filter. He's gotta, he's gonna run this line from there to there. That fills the engine with coolant. Um, I made these lines last night. It's a 120 degree bend. He's gonna run an aftermarket fuel rail and we'll tidy this up. There's a lot of different ways he can run that. But I did 120 so it'd be more flat streamlined. And 290s and a 90, doing out pretty good. Got our drain valve he can hook a hose to and run it into a bottle down there or something. Uh, this header right here, you just about can't see. It's too hard to see. So, it's all finished up, wrapped up. Turned out super nice, super sweet. And uh, we did AN bungs on this and down there on that one. So, I'm waiting on two AN bungs because I have this piece in aluminum over there on the bench. I'm going to weld the AN bung to that. Let this line come over and tie into that. Got an AN bung coming for this thermostat housing. Weld the bung to it and run that line to that line. Um, I think we're going to weld the axle tubes for him also because he's a super nice guy. And I, he saw how much interest I had in this right here. And he had an extra one. And he gave it to me to weld the axle tubes. And it takes me like 
10 minutes weld axle tubes and that thing's like 450 dollars on ebay so that was a no-brainer for me so everything's just tightly packed in there. there's o2 bong let's see if you can see everything's just real tight i gotta got this supported by a bracket I'm going to throw the bumper on real quick. Oh, you can see the intercooler. Oh, yeah. That sucker. Whew, man, looks good. Looks really nice. This thing is just a, a unit now, man. Custom headers, hot side, precision, wastegates, precision, billet wheel, turbo, vibrant HD clamp on the throttle body, both sides of the intercooler and the turbo. Man, this thing is just... It's rigged out. This is really like the bells and whistles entry level kit. Like everything that I recommended, he just went for it. It's super awesome. I enjoy it. I really enjoy being able to do that. Um, so he's got some wiring to do. Hook a couple lines up. Um, I think he's going to move a brake line. He's going to run the power steering lines back to the to the pump and that's about it. This car is wrapped up and leave a comment, uh, like or dislike, don't care. Um, subscribe, um, go on my website, buy some merchandise, that'd be really cool. Uh, let me know what type of project you wanna see next, not next, but in the future because I get tons of requests for work and uh, I just kind of pick and choose what I like and I seem to repeat kind of the same type of work. Fast cars, LSs, bam. Uh, next video is gonna be Gavin's black car finishing it up. So I'm fixing to jump on it and get it knocked out. Uh, I've been waiting a long time on some parts and I just kind of gave up on it. So we're going to build our own parts that I was waiting on them. I ordered them because it was supposed to be a faster process. So I got some cool parts over there I'm building for Gavin's car. Uh, I'm gonna wrap those up the next couple nights, throw this car together, finish the video on it, post it. It's gonna be a banger. So, and then probably project after that is gonna be my 69 Camaro, new motor, uh, new wiring harness, custom builds to fit the car better new turbos, that's going to be a cool project. So, thanks for everybody watching, and we will see you on the next one.